Alright, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up one of these R4 cards for Nintendo 3DS in order to play ROMs that you get online and just put straight onto it. Um, this is the one I got. I'm sure there's loads of them that work. Uh, I'll leave links for this one in the description and for everything else. Uh, first off, this comes with this SD card reader, but it doesn't come with a micro SD itself, so you're going to have to buy one of those. You can make a 64 gigabyte one work. Uh, if you can get it formatted as FAT32. Um, that's a bit of a process. If you don't want to deal with that, just get a 32 gigabyte one, it'll work just fine. So, you're gonna wanna go to here. This is the tool that I found that works. You could probably more of them work. Um, click here, you download it. No, we don't wanna buy anything. We also don't want this Shadow Maker thing. We don't wanna give them any data. Put it wherever. Mm -hmm. uh, get rid of that. You want to take this, wipe disk. And then... So there you go. Then you want to create a new partition. That's FAT32. It's a, it, it has to be FAT32 for this firmware to work. And then just leave all the settings as, as default. Then this should be good. You can close out of this. You can uninstall it for all I care. Um, it's not a very good software, but it's one that does work for getting it to FAT32. Up next, if you want to go to this side, I'll send it to you. Um, I have this gold one, they have loads of them, I have this gold one, you go in here, mine is in English, if you have any of the other languages, you just pick that one, I click on this, download it, I already have it, so, you're gonna get this zip file like this, you wanna extract it, and then you go in here to the setup, it, where you can, see if you go in here, and you can see which files you want to leave on the SD card right here. Uh, I have plugged it into my PC, so it'll show up like like this. Go in here. So we want the Moon menu, the Moon SHL2, the R4i menu, and the R4.dat. You just copy these onto your SD card. Then I use this for games. I think you can put media and stuff on it. I'm not gonna bother with that. You make a new folder. Whoops. Make a new folder called games. Um, then you're gonna go to your wherever you get your DS and 3DS ROMs from. I'm not gonna link to that, but just just Google Nintendo DS ROM Vault. Something will show up. I have got. <coughs> Got this Animal Crossing one. Also, want to extract it. So, DS games will just be .NDS. I believe 3DS games will be .3DS. But, you know, I don't know. Um, now that it's on here, you can see how my file structure looks and games are in here. This is also going to be where the saves are. They're going to be .SAV, I believe. So, don't mess with those. Um, also, don't mess with these things unless you know what you're doing. Um, yeah, so now we're ready to eject, and you can put it into your R4 cartridge and then put that into your DS and it will work. That it does work, yeah, so I have the USB here with the SD card, pull that out, put it in here to the cartridge that you get, this is the one I have, just for reference. Put it in your 3DS, boot it up, then there's going to be this Bomberman thing up here, you tap that, and then you're going to have this games folder over here, this one in the middle is where your media is going to be if you put any, I, I don't bother with that, but yeah, 
you go into the games folder and right there is Animal Crossing. So you just boot that, it's going to create a save file for you. And there you go.